So we have a question next from Joel. And it's about an amendment to the Official Languages Act from 2005. He writes, the Seventh Amendment to the Official Languages Act was passed almost seven years ago, yet nothing has been done to see it put into practice. French and English language minorities across Canada are still marginalized on a daily basis. What can you do to ensure Stephen Harper gets this moving? Okay, the amendment first was in 2005. It was an amendment that was born out of a, uh, from the Senate uh, by my predecessor in the House of Commons, uh, Jean-Robert Gauthier. And it was a, an amendment to give, to, to declare uh, part seven, section 41, uh, mandatory, obligatory, not the uh, pure, not something that we, well, nice to do. Right. Part seven, section 41, which was amended back in 1988 under the Mulroney government, said that uh, all, um, all federal agencies and departments have a responsibility towards the minor minority language communities to help them uh, not only uh, survive, but to thrive, to grow. Right. And that was never done. So, and there was no obligation. It was it, nice to do. Section, uh, in, in, 19, in 2005, there was an obligation put onto the, uh, the, all the departments and agencies, without exception, that, and, and the, the best example I can give is, when you go to the doctors, there's no guarantee that, uh, as to what the outcome will be, but there is an obligation to do um, uh, an, an examination and to prescribe a solution if, to the problem. That is what the, the best example, we, the best way we have of defining the obligation that became incumbent upon all departments and agencies to make sure they knew the situation in their area of jurisdiction of the, of the minority communities that they served, analyze and, and, and where there are the problems, propose solutions, and then implement them. Right. So you're talking about um, an English language minority in Quebec, or yeah. say a French this language very, minority very in Manitoba. Complex, okay? so, but when you have a law, usually the law is accompanied by uh, uh, regulation and then policies, and that's how it filters down into the system to be implemented. When we passed the law, because it was our government at the time, I was the minister responsible for official languages in the Martin government, uh, the intention was that within a year, the, 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 the act would take effect, the amendment, and that we would then have that year to, to bring in, bring in a regulation and policies so that all departments knew what they had to do. The government, we, we lost the election uh, almost a few, I think it was a week or so after the, 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 this amendment became law, and the, the, we were turfed, and the conservatives came in, and they've never followed up. They never followed through. Okay, what so they what do and said is they say, well, we, 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 we took, okay, again, another little parenthesis. In 2003, uh, under the Chrétien government, Stéphane Zion was minister, and he introduced the, the Plan d'Action, the Action Plan for Official Languages, five-year plan, $800 million investment in, all, in a bunch of, of departments, and it, was, it, it went very well. What the government, uh, sub subsequent government did, the Harper government did, is they, they followed up on that with what they call the, the roadmap, of another five-year plan from 2008 to 2013 with a, a, a billion dollars, and they thought that would do it. That in and of itself is not a bad thing, and I'm not, I'm not criticizing them on that. But, but it did not impose an obligation on all the government departments and agencies, and they never did. Okay. The Official Languages Commissioner at first thought, maybe if we establish best practices and they all share them and they can get to do it without having this framework, well, I think he's coming to a realization, no, they need the framework. Government so, agencies need the framework in which to operate. Can, can you give me maybe just a very specific example so people understand? Because it, it's kind of like a, it, it, you're talking at kind of a high level. If um, I'm French and I'm living in a French community, I'm a minority in Manitoba, what was this supposed to do for me? What, what difference would it have made in my life? Well, if you're, say, you're, you're a student and you're, uh, you're attending the University of Manitoba, and, and you want you need you, you you're applying for a, for a, 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 a loan or a grant under the student, Canada Student Loan Program. You got to be able to do that in French. You, they have to, there has to be an understanding that there there's a particular need for that community. So whoever is administering the department in that community for that has to be aware of that. Make sure that the offer is there. Maybe there's a set aside for make sure that that community has indeed uh, ability to get money. So so the, the, but if you don't have a framework and an obligation. 
well, it just doesn't get done. Okay. As an example. So, and then what you're saying is that there seems to be some recognition among the Harper government that what they're doing is not working. Are you expecting? I don't think so. No. no, no. There's a realization among the official languages commissioner and his uh, office that perhaps we need to go to a regulation, a regulatory uh, imp implementation of the of the of the law. In that, whenever you pass such an amendment, it's at least a decade before it really takes hold and starts showing results. But that's on the presumption that you've, you've set up the framework, the full framework, but, but that hasn't been done. So, so we're floundering on this front. And, and I think we'll continue to flounder until there's a regulatory framework to give effect to the law so that departments know what the hell they have to do under which framework and the policies apply to their own individual departments as well. If you look at most laws, mm -hmm. that's how they put, they're put into effect. So why is this an exception? Mm -hmm.